Hey guys, today we're going to be touching on the Helix 5 range. Uh, what we're going to be looking at today is the first setup uh, for, for the unit. So you're going to be looking at page layouts. So it's going to allow for easy navigation for yourself through your own unit. As well as we're going to be touching on the sensitivity, contrast and the sharpness setup of the unit as well. So we're going to start with page layout which for a lot of people is something they don't worry about they just continue hitting the view button until they scroll through the pages and they get to the one that they want which can be very time consuming um, so with the helix 5 it is very easy to change those that page layout so we're going to show you through those steps this morning we're going to start by double pressing the menu button okay that brings to brings you to your main menu and then you're going to scroll across to views okay then you have your list of views there so we're going to turn some of these off bird's eye view it's probably not something that most people will use you want to you want to choose the ones that probably the top four or five that you go to mainly um, and then you're not scrolling through 15 different pages to get to the one that you want to so you just scroll down each of them it's either visible or hidden and turn the ones off that you don't want to hidden you got down and sonar on and then we got downside sonar combo view and to leave that one off side imaging full screen yes I want that sonar yes I want that and sonar zoom I'm gonna leave that one off so as you can see it's a very easy step to go through and choose the pages that you want to view okay once you're done that just by hitting exit that will take you out of that now when we hit the views we're seeing only the pages that we selected okay so much easier than scrolling through a lot of different pages just to get to the one that you want okay another little tip when you're scrolling through your pages here your view button takes you forward through the screens your exit button takes you backwards okay so if you've just missed the screen I want 2D sonar okay Oh, I've gone past it, hit the exit button, and I have it there. Now we're going to look at adjusting your sensitivity, your contrast, and your sharpness. These three settings is what can enable you to get an even better picture out of your side imaging and down imaging. Okay, so how we get to that? We hit the menu button. We go down to side imaging enhance, okay? Hit the across button down the bottom here you'll see sensitivity contrast sharpness okay I like to run my sensitivity on these units between 10 and 14 so today I'm gonna set it at around 12 these are gonna when you're on the water you're gonna need to adjust these slightly maybe one up or one down but for now that's a good place to start contrast you really want to make that picture jump out so if I have sensitivity on 12 I generally run the contrast either one or two down so for this I'm gonna leave it at 10 okay I always run the sharpness on low what that does is it really makes the picture jump out off the screen so if you're seeing some fish out here on the side you can see they're really really clear and are jumping out okay that'll enable you to see a lot more on your unit than what you have been seeing okay hit exit that to me makes that picture look a lot more um, easy to read and makes everything on the screen just jump out that little bit more now we're going to scroll through 
and we're going to go to our full down imaging screen. Same thing, we're going to hit menu, we're going to come to down imaging enhance this time, and here you can see sensitivity, contrast and sharpness. Again, I'm going to bump that sensitivity up to about 12. And I'm going to leave that contrast there at 10. Again, sharpness. I'm just going to put it on low. Okay. And as you can see now, the picture is really jumping out. As opposed to this, to this, it seems like it's that much brighter. Okay. That's how to change the sensitivity, contrast and sharpness in your down imaging and side imaging. The last one that I'm going to show you is once I exit out of that, <coughs> scroll through to just my 2D sonar. Okay, I'm going to hit menu here and that's where you change the sensitivity on your 2D sonar. Very simple. It's really the only thing that you're going to need to change uh, on your 2D sonar, but it can allow you to get a far better read out of your 2D sonar than just leaving it run on the setting that it's in out of the box.